This video is going to talk about and demonstrate how to create these silly straws. This is our sweep number five in our class. But essentially, we have all the information we need here in the drawing to create this. Now, with any sweep, you need two things. You need the profile of what you're going to sweep, which in this case is a very simple tube designs, two circles. And then you have the path. And the path is slightly more complicated. There's a series of lines and arcs. And the one thing that we have to realize is anytime we're creating a path, the path needs to be smooth. And when we're talking about arcs, we're talking about using the tangent constraint. And we're going to use it a whole bunch here because we need each of these to be smooth. Now the um, design is in inches, so we're just going to use the default file setting. And I find it easiest to put the origin at either side um, of your center line here. Now remember, we're creating a center line, not these two shapes. Not these two shapes, a center line only. So I'm going to put my origin at the top just because that's how I'm feeling right now. Uh, I'm going to do essentially a bunch of straight lines and a bunch of arcs and just recreate this shape. So the line going straight down, kind of have this quarter arc here. We have this other arc come around, another straight line, and now we're kind of like back and forth um, with lines and arcs. Now I'm not putting any dimensions in right now. I'm not even worrying about that. If I can get the tangent in by drawing, I will. It doesn't always work that way. And then one last line to finish it up. All right, so this is the rough sketch. The most important thing is you get the lines and arcs that you need in. Hopefully nothing extra that you have to correct later. Now I'm going to use my tangent tool, and I'm just going to tangent pretty much everything. And if it's already there, it'll tell me it's there. Um, if I wanted to, I could check beforehand and see what's there and just put in what I'm missing. Or go down here and turn on all my constraints. That might make it easier. Missing one here. Got one there, there. Missing one here. Missing one here. Uh, got one there and there. All right, so I got all my tangents in at every point where an arc runs into a line and even here where it's arc arc okay so now i need my dimensions Let me turn off my constraints there now there's a couple things that i can automatically assume here just based on looking at this that the beginning and end of the straw are are collinear and everything all these lines are basically vertical or horizontal there's no in-betweens so I'm operating on that assumption because that's what my eyes tell me when I look here. Okay. It needs to be horizontal. All right, looks good from here. So let's put all these dimensions in. Now, what do I know about the dimensions? I know that this bottom is 3.5 inches. I know that the top is 2 inches. And then I have call out for several radius five that's point two five and then i have lots of dimensions here now if i look the radius on all of these are the same so i'm just going to use equals and then it points out these two which transition to the straight legs are point two five So I'm going to use my equals tool now and make all these arcs the same. Okay, now I have dimensions here. And someone a little awry down there, but I'll fix that afterwards. Oh, 
All right, now I think I have everything in, but now that it begs the question, what do I not know? Okay, well, if I look here, this is a quarter arc, and it, I'm missing an endpoint constraint. So what I'm going to do is use my vertical and make that a true quarter arc. And I'm guessing down at the bottom we're going to have the same issue. Let's see what else we're missing. Oh, size of the arc. Maybe I missed a constraint here. Let's see. Well, these need to be 0.5 as stated earlier. Okay. And with that, we are fully constrained. So finish that sketch. And now I'm going to reuse or use one of the origin planes to do my path. Or excuse me, my profile. This is my path. My profile needs to be on a perpendicular plane, which is always why I like starting my point or my path on one of the origin planes because I can come right back and use an existing plane instead of creating a new work plane. So now the most important thing here, which um, is not a problem if we're using the origin, but any other point, we need to make sure that we project that. That point needs to be projected in both sketches. And when you move on to something more complicated like loft, that is even more critical. It just will not work if you don't have uh, a point, a shared point in both sketches. Now I'll go back to the kind of front view here. Now I have two circles. I'm going to put them both in and then throw my dimensions in there. So we have 0.25 on the smaller and 0.3 on the larger. And that's all I need for circles. So now I have my two pieces of information I need. Now I should be able to loft this. So let's see if it works. A lot of times with loft, it'll figure out what you need for your profile. This one didn't. It's fine by me. Make sure you select the correct portion. Oh, oh I'm sorry. That's not loft. I'm sorry, talking about loft. We're still on sweep. Select the portion you need, and then it's going to ask you for your curve. So there's my profile, the circular part. There's the curve. And the preview is always really nice to see exactly what it's going to do before you click it. Now, if you do not get the preview, this is not going to work. There's probably an issue, um, like I talked about before, at this point. If you do not share this point via project geometry between your two sketches, this is not going to work. But once it gives you a preview, that's almost always an indication that it will function as uh, you want it to, it will work. So, actually, I'm looking at it backwards here. Let's flip it around. So, here is our silly straw. That's how to make it, guys. One center line, path, and one profile. And that's all you need.